Good evening and once again welcome to my YouTube channel Match with Ease by Mr. Kamotho and um, we are now almost coming to the end of class 9 whereby we have learned how to calculate gradient and we are now looking at example 13 which says that a pebble is thrown vertically upwards such that its height as meters above the above the top of the cliff above the top of the cliff after time seconds or t seconds is given by there is no gap here above the top of the cliff after t seconds is given by s is equals to 10 t minus 5t squared and as you can see we are having a practical um, activity here that could be the cliff this could actually be our cliff and the pebble is thrown above the cliff of course due to gravity it will have to first of all go up because it is thrown up and after reaching the maximum height, it drops now to the ground. So that is the maximum point. And let us see. This is how uh, we can describe the movement of that pebble. Now, we can already know that the displacement or the distance or the height as meters is given by this. What is the question? Find the maximum height reached by the pebble and when it occurs. That could be a very tricky question, but of course we have been learning how to solve these questions and now we are at the peak of understanding this, uh, of understanding this topic and we should know the maximum height is the same as the maximum point which we termed as a turning point and we said that at turning point which is either maximum or minimum the differential we are going to say for example this one we are going to say ds dt is going to be zero the DSDT at this particular point because this is the maximum height of the pebble is going to be zero. But what is the change in displacement with respect to time? It is obviously going to be 10 minus 10T. Of course we know DSDT is this and we know at maximum point DSDT should be zero. So this by all means is going to be zero. In other words, we are saying 10t is equals to 10. Divide by 10, divide by 10, and therefore t is equals to 1. It is going to reach maximum height after one second. And if that is true, um, let us talk about that maximum height now. The maximum height is s is equals to 10t minus 5t squared. So what is the height? We have to substitute in the equation of the height when t is equals to 1 to get the maximum height. And therefore, now, s is equals to 10 multiplied by 1 minus 5, 1 squared, which is easily 10 minus 5. And the maximum height reached, which is s meters, is five meters and that is s maximum and this is the height of that particular maximum height on from the top of the cliff this level this is five meters and then by gravity it falls freely now that is it of course we have identified what is the maximum height by solving this question by substitution and that is just what was asked and there is there is the answer for you 
Thank you and let us meet in the next video.